Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2024 Lexus RX 500h F Sport. This model's finished off in ultra white and the MSRP is just over $73,000. Now being the F Sport model, this has a lot of goodies that we will go over in today's review. Now starting off with what powers the 500h, this has a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It's paired to that hybrid electric system along with the six speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 366 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque. That power is sent through the all wheel drive system, propelling this 4,700 pound SUV from zero to 60 in just under six seconds. Top speed is 130, and as far as fuel economy goes, you're looking right around 27 miles per gallon in the city and 28 out on the highway. Now, as we work our way to the exterior styling, check out this design for the upper section of the hourglass design. There's this body panel filler, what I'll call it, just to uh, provide a little bit more blend with this upper bullnose design. Right above the sensor, which is the Lexus badge, there's a camera right in the middle, along with parking sensors. Plenty of cutouts in this grill too, but I really like that integration. And then the divide between the bodywork and that grill has a nice jagged design to it. Now this also has LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals. There's fog lights down below, more mesh and cutouts, and then some more gloss black accents, even a brushed aluminum piece right in the middle to set it off apart from the two-tone with the black and the white. Very nice lines coming down the hood, wrapping around the front all the way back to the other side there. And then this model also has the 21 inch wheels finished off in gloss black with the Lexus calipers there. There's a little bit more gloss black surrounding the fender arch there, as well as being on the power mirrors where there's a turn signal and a camera. More gloss black for the roof racks, has a full panoramic sunroof, and then even a two-tone design for the door handle. So you'll notice the white and the black and some very nice brush trim for the window trim here. It goes all the way to the back, flows very nicely, where there's very nice lines that run down the side too. Nothing's too crisp, but everything has a nice flowing design to it. This has a body colored spoiler, third brake light, wiper blade up top. There's the full LED bar running right through that power lift gate with the LED taillights, backup camera, all the sensors too. Some more of that same mesh design that you saw up front. And this can even tow right around 3,500 pounds. So if you have some small equipment, maybe a bike rack or something like that, you can definitely hook it up to this. Now in the cargo space, this is fairly large. There's also some tie down hooks, the spare tires underneath where you might have a little bit more storage if you fully open this up here. And then there's a three prong, there's some hooks for groceries. You can even fold down the back seats from here. So just push on that button and they will automatically go down. And then there's the cover here too, if you need to use that. So definitely plenty of space for the size of this SUV. And as we work our way to the back seats, just pull on the electronic button on the inside of the door handle to release that door. We also have a manual release from the inside just by pulling this out twice. Just push it in once for that electronic release. There's Alcantara, Mark Levinson Audio, all of the leather too. Even the controls to recline the seats and to fold them flat. So you can do that from the second row. Now we have leather and Alcantara, storage pockets, heated and ventilated back seats, climate adjustments with some auxiliaries and the fans. And then for the armrest, you have a little bit of storage on the back section with two cup holders in the front. And you can even fold down this middle seat if you'd like to, if you have some larger items. And visibility is also pretty easy to see around. There's definitely a lot of glass. And with the sunroof open too, it provides a lot of light. So it's very open feeling for the back. Front door panel is just like the rear. There's all the window controls, side mirror adjustments too. And then the F Sport seats with a little bit more bolster support to them. Well, let's fire this up though. We have the solid and perforated leather steering wheel with the F Sport badge down below. This even gets the paddle shifters too. And then let's talk about all of the controls that you can see. There's your lane keeping assist along with your cruise control. But if I hover my finger on these, they will actually pop up on the head up display. So currently there's following distance along with your driver assistant mode. Then you can also go through a lot more info and that will also appear in the gauge cluster itself. So that way you can view it in full screen, but it will tell you what is being shown on the head up display as well. 
And then you can also adjust the head-up display height. So you can raise and lower it. Now on this left side, there's volume, and the rest of these are for your Bluetooth and voice commands along with uh, tuning, and then you have mode and audio that you can scroll through. It's a very easy system to use once you get used to where everything is and how you can read and adjust it. A Little bit of storage on the left side, fuel cap and lift gate release. There's memory seating adjustments. You have some odometer settings that you can go into. And then for the size of this infotainment system, you have navigation on this left side along with music. You can get into your phone. You can also go into your vehicle, go through the different driving modes. You have seat controls that you can go into to fold down the seats. There's trip information, energy flow. You can monitor all of that. And then you can also set up everything the way that you would like to with all this general information. Now underneath that, still within the screen, we have the heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel control. You can quickly get into the climates along with all of this information here. You have your frequently used, convenience, drive modes. So you can quickly go through all of this. You can adjust your front and rear climates. And then you also have the fan speed. Temperature dials are within the screen here. And then we have power and volume for the radio and some defrosters too. Now this also has parallel parking assist, so you can use that when it is needed. And then you also have the view button, which is not new from Lexus, but it gives you another uh, surround view to make sure that there's nothing around you when you are ready to start driving. Now there's air vents in the middle, some auxiliaries, wireless charging with a lot of space down below, and some more auxiliaries. You can hide that away as needed, a little bit of space to above that. Now there's two cup holders. If I push on this, it will actually raise one of these cup holders. So you can actually push it down for a larger drink or bring it back up for a shorter one, of course. Let's put this into reverse now. There's the backup camera with the guidelines, drive is in the opposite direction, and then the manual setting is straight back. So you can use those paddles. And then park is located just behind the shifter. There's traction control, auto hold with the e-brake, even a Christmas tree and some rough terrain there. So you can take this off the pavement. Now the glove box for the armrest actually opens up two different ways. You have a little bit of storage down below and then of course the glove box where you have even more items. Now this also has the digital rear view camera, which is nice to see. We have a sunglass holder and then all the controls for dome lights and that sunroof itself and the sunshade. And here's a look at visibility over both shoulders. It's pretty open feeling, so it's definitely easy to see. And with it in sport mode, second gear, here we go. Nice, healthy acceleration for this SUV. And again, it's not loud. Brakes do a good job. And with the regenerative braking, you can use that to help further charge that battery system. So for this $73,000 Lexus hybrid, I think it's a great option to go with. It's not a plug-in hybrid, which would give you some more range. You can have strictly just the EV, but I think it's still great technology without being a plug-in. One last thing, again, you have to worry about if you need to charge it, things like that. Having it kind of in the background, I think it's still extremely beneficial. And we have a smaller engine, but with the hybrid assistance, we have a lot of horsepower and torque. Over 400 pound-feet of torque from that two and a half liter or 2.4 liter uh, turbocharged engine with the hybrid is definitely some great numbers to see. But like I mentioned earlier, driving it, it's so comfortable, well-refined, seats are in a good position. As cars pass, there's really no noise. This is something that you can rack up the miles on and be in a luxury brand like Lexus. Nothing's too overboard as far as the trim accents. A little bit more on that understated luxury side. There's no carbon fiber or anything like that. It's just, it's more subtle, but it still gives you the nice materials that you want. And as far as a quick Yui, pretty tight turning radius there. And then back up to speed, just like that. Camera system is going to be very helpful too. So I like the tech that's offered and it's a, it's a nice place to be. So I think that is going to wrap it up for the 2024 Lexus RX 500H F Sport. If you want to check out my review on the RX 300 or the 350H F Sport, that link will be down in the description below. We had that for a week, so I have a little bit more to talk about with that vehicle, of course. 
But huge thanks to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this vehicle for me today. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.